Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new here, my name is Bells and today we're doing a makeup therapy. Basically, I like to do my makeup when I'm feeling down. It's always a good pick me up so I wanted to talk to you guys whilst I show you guys how I did a really really fun look that I really liked. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I was definitely feeling my hair, links will be down below as well as everything so enjoy! So in this video I'm using a few high-end products which are not necessary so I will be leaving dupes down below but as you can see from the beginning, my skin wasn't what it normally is. I tried new products and it's just not working for me. So I definitely had to prime. Skin, diet, lifestyle has a massive impact on me. I don't know about you guys, but I've been feeling real sluggish, real, I don't really want to leave the bed. I don't feel like showering today. <laughs> um, simply, I don't know. I think this lockdown for me has definitely hit harder than the last one. I find that in the lockdown, I have different waves of emotion, whether it be sadness, happiness, um, a bit of just stillness, nothing really going on. I don't really know how to maneuver. So I'm just taking it day by day. Emotionally, probably one of the most challenging things I've ever had to do or go through, really. And I know a lot of you guys can relate. I also wanted to let you guys know that this will be a full coverage makeup tutorial. This is really the type of makeup for real photography, like in front of actual cameras. So not necessarily what I'd wear on the day to day, but like I said, I felt a bit meh today. So I wanted to give myself a real pick me up. And the way for me to do that is do my hair makeup and listening to music and just creating a vibe with myself. So whilst I'm doing my concealer, I like to use two shades, one which is closer to my skin tone to create a good clean canvas and the other one to create a bit of a dimension for the face. During this lockdown, I don't know, I think it's harder to deal with I don't, maybe the minor things. Definitely disappointment. I think that is what I've literally encountered probably every week a bit of disappointment and a bit of upset so it's learning for me how to bounce back and put those to the side not dismiss them or compartmentalize or anything like that but put it to the side and keep focused on like my end goal and sometimes that can be very hard for me especially you know when you can't go out you don't have the same distractions as you used to Okay, so I went in with two different contours. I ended up preferring the last one I used, Fenty Beauty, just because it's a lot bigger. So it covers a lot more surface area around my face and I end up using a lot less product to the L'Oreal one, but I still would highly, highly recommend the L'Oreal one. It's more so as a concealer rather than using it for heavy contouring like I did here. So these days, I just be going with whatever I feel that week, that day especially, because I just feel like I cannot force myself. I can't come and die from my emotions. <laughs> if I feel happy, then I allow it. That's how I feel for the day. If I don't and I'm annoyed, I usually have to get it off my chest. I have to get it off my chest because holding it in, it's just, it doesn't do anything for anyone, especially me. I... Yeah, and it's on my face and I make it really, really obvious. I just can't hide my emotions. <laughs> and I throw myself into my work, not too much. You know, like I said, I can't come and die, I can't do that. But I throw myself enough where it gives me some form of distraction. Everyone should have some way to escape, whether it be anything. I can't even think, my brain's gone blank. Definitely finding your way to escape. If it's sleeping, which I completely understand, then it's sleeping. And for me, if it's editing, filming videos, that is my escape and that's how I'm going to do things. Ooh, 
the turn up ghost hit me all of a sudden. I was, like I said, the vibe was real great. You should have been there. <laughs> And for me, especially with, you know, creating and doing stuff, I found that the more I care less about what the other person thinks, especially negatively, I always want to keep in like positive or constructive criticism, but the negativity, I just block out. And I really have to remember that at the end of the day, if I can just impress myself, then I've done a really good job. Another thing that I'm trying to figure out is like, how much resting do I do before I lose a bit of, you know, my discipline? Because it's just the balance between taking rest and still being self-disciplined and doing what you need to do. Because I can do what I need to do, but I also love rest. And if I cut my time on rest and do what I need to do in advance and really perfect it, I'll impress myself. However, if I give myself time to rest, which would be great for my mind, body and soul, but, you know, things aren't getting done to the standard that I would be proud of. You see where I'm going with this? It's trying to find that balance. Everything is balanced at the end of the day. Balance, 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 balance. I just want things to just work out for me with little effort. Please. <laughs> Sometime, please. Please. Anyway, honorable shout out to Laura Mercier setting powder in the shade Honey. This is my holy grail. Me and Honey forever for life. It's amazing for my under eye. If you have warm uh, with yellow undertone, you would love this. If you love a bright under eye like me, you will love this. For me personally, I don't think a bright under eye will ever go out of fashion for me. Um, yeah, that's just not something I'm willing to give up. Natural under eye... For me, it's just, it's not going to do it for me, personally, no. Light them babies up, respectfully. And I'm using all the shades in the bottom corner to give me a bit of a brown smoky eye. That's what I wanted to go for for today. I wanted browns. I wanted my top, my hair and my makeup to all match and just blend beautifully. Like I said, guys, the key to everything is blending, taking your time. That's why I always recommend playing around with makeup when you have free time to get things wrong, see what you like. The worst thing is doing your makeup on a very important day and wanting to experiment and having things going wrong please don't do that to yourself I've been there many times and it's the worst thing going out and hating the way your makeup looks oh my goodness I wouldn't wish that on anyone I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy you know what maybe I would but that's not that's not the point I'm getting at today okay this is makeup therapy not makeup revenge god damn I'm also using Too Faced Natural Nudes Palette. They have really good light neutral shades that look good on deeper complexions, as well as a very nice brown to use as a winged liner for my eyes today. But yes, back to discipline versus resting. I think at the end of the day, you know what they say is self-discipline is self-love, you know, setting yourself boundaries and loving yourself enough to do what's best for you, which I completely understand. It's just in the circumstances, um, rest is important. <laughs> I could, I'm a real big advocate for rest. I really, really am. But I don't want the message to get misconstrued and everyone needs to rest. Of course, discipline is very healthy, especially in a lifestyle, especially in a routine. And hopefully one day we we'll, won't have the circumstances we have now. I'm not even going to address them because this is, this is not the vibe. We're not about to discuss this here, okay? But when we're out of the circumstances, okay, it's going to be easier for you to bounce back rather than someone that hasn't even giving themselves room to even maybe challenge, test or stick to a routine, regime, something where it means that they have to set somewhat bound of some form of boundaries for themselves. So yeah, um, 
yeah, just remember self, self-discipline self is self-love. Okay, okay. So for today, I did a real dramatic brow. I wanted length, I wanted fluffiness. And like I say all the time, I love doing my brows after foundation. It has changed my life. It's given me the brows I've always wanted, the nice fluffy brows that still look somewhat natural and don't look too harsh. I used to be the girl that did eyebrows before foundation and I cannot stand it on myself now. I hate the way it looks. It looks too drawn on and I don't like drawn on brows on me. I like them fluffy, natural. And even when they're dramatic, they're not too dramatic. It's amazing. I love it here. I love it here for us. And I didn't like the shape here, so I just went in with some concealer and just cleaned up a bit. Makeup is just so easy to tweak and fix. And the more you play around with it, the more you'll find that it's it's your face, so you can always tweak and rework and redo. It's fine, it's not the end of the world. And a brow gel is always, always necessary. I'd recommend if you like a fluffier, more natural looking brow to go for a brow gel that is either clear or is one shade lighter than your actual brows. It will give them more of a feathery effect without making them look too harsh or dark for your face. Like I've been saying, everything for me is really just a wave and I try to remind myself that everything is temporary, so whatever I'm feeling is temporary and not to work too hard to chase the same feeling, more so how to manage everything, all my emotions and not try to go after one emotion because it's draining and that can be exhausting. So yeah, I'm just not forcing anything this year, really. I set myself a little goals, maybe for like the month or the next month. But I'm not trying to think about what I'm going to do at the end of the year. Like, that's not happening. I try, like I said, impressing myself monthly, weekly is really, really important and can push you further. And being more disciplined, of course, is going to set you ahead in the long run. I also discovered a good trick is having a black eyeliner and then going over it with a brown liner to give the intensity that you'd get with a black eyeliner but the softness of a brown liner on top. I will show you guys how I did this in the video so don't be a bit alarmed okay everything will be shown and explained hopefully well then better than I can explain it myself verbally. try to let whatever's meant to happen to me to be and try to keep as much control as I can without stressing, overthinking and worrying too much about the future because everything is really unexpected right now. So if I can be more disciplined, if I can impress myself naturally without even pushing myself too hard, you're going to be a lot further ahead if you kind of do nothing. But yeah, it's just doing little, it's just changing characteristics to set you up in the long run rather than big goals that I'm trying to achieve in the year. I hope I'm making sense. I don't even, I can't even get a response out of you guys, but I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> So going in with blush, you guys know I love a blush for the cheeks. Like I said, all the high-end products, I will leave dupes down below just to make sure that it's more accessible and more affordable to you guys, of course. And for this video, I'm actually also using a black owned brand, Burundian brand. If you didn't know, I'm from Burundi originally. So I'm just gonna line my lips. I've actually been liking overlining my lips, which is very new for me. I went on a shoot and the MUA overlined my lips and I was thinking that's so weird, but um, it really made a difference just overlining my top lips so it can match a little bit more. I don't know if that makes sense, but it looks good. And I only uh, overlined it on the sides of my mouth just to create like a fuller lip. 
going in with Nibiru Cosmetics. I actually use three shades. One I didn't show, but they'll all be linked down below so you guys can go check them out. They're a Burundian known brand, black owned brand, and I love these shades together. I go in with a brown shade around the corners of my mouth just to line my lips, and then more of a nude neutral shade that suits me and then with a lighter shade in the center. So I create that 90s ombre matte look, but make it glossy and make it 2000s. And that, my friends, is going to be my new lip combo because I'm absolutely obsessed. Honestly, doing your makeup when you're not in the mood, put some music on, make sure your area wherever you're doing your makeup is nice, calm, setting, and just a vibe. It will really cheer you up, even if you're not going anywhere. You can just remember what you use, remember the routine if you can, and try to do it again when you have somewhere to go. And then just doing final touches, like tight lining my eyes, making sure that my under eye is nice and clean, and my face all blends and looks seamless, and then setting spray to top it all off, bring back that glow, and then I'm all done. So I hope you guys liked this video. I was extremely chatty. I hope you guys got to see how I do my makeup and I hope the video made sense to you. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer. Products and dupes will all be in the description box. Like this video for more videos like this and subscribe down below and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.